All right, so to grab this, let's just go through our important points. First thing, amplitude. Right, absolute value of negative three, which is easy enough, right? Period. Um, period is going to be how long it takes us to complete one cycle of the cosine graph. So the period is just going to be 2 pi over b. And if you guys remember, b is your number in front of x. In this problem, we have 4. So we have 2 pi over 4, which equals pi over 2. Remember, amplitude is the height from the x-axis that your graph goes up and down from the x-axis. So we have our amplitude, we have our period. It would be helpful to also know, remember, for a cosine graph, we have four important points. We have two axes, or two intercepts. We're across the x-intercept. We have our minimum, and we also have the end of the cycle. So it also is helpful to write your four you know, points, four kind of important points in one cycle. For every cycle, there's some important points. So what you'll do is you'll take pi over 2 and divide by 4. And some of you might be like, oh, shh. How do you do that? Well, remember, if you have a number on the bottom, to get rid of that number on the bottom, you just need to multiply by its reciprocal. 4 times 1 fourth is obviously 1. Multiply the reciprocal on the top and the bottom. 5 over 8. So that means the intervals between your important points are pi over 8. So now what I'll do is I'll graph a set of axes here. Now, I know my graph is going to go up 3 and down 3. So I'm going to at least go up that high and that far down. Okay. Um, I do know that it's a uh, reflection. Usually a cosine graph, we know crosses the y-axis here. Well, since it's a reflection, I'm now going to cross it at negative 3 sense. And so instead of it going like this, it's going to start going right there. And then I told you there's a four important points. So we could say one, two, three, four. Where here is your end and your period, which was pi over two. So you might say, all right, well, how do we figure out the rest of them? Well, remember, each interval is pi over eight between each other. So you can say first one is pi over eight. Next one would be two pi over eight, which would be pi over four. Right? 2 pi over the same thing as pi over 4. Next one is going to be 3 pi over 8. And then add another one would be 4 pi over 8, which is pi over 2. Alright? <coughs> so, if you guys remember a cosine graph, it's going to cross here. Its maximum is going to be here. Cross back here. And then it's going to end down there. So, and that's <coughs> all I have. I already counted my reflection. And I have my new period. So, I go up. Cross. So that is one period. Your next couple periods, you can go in either direction. You can go in the negative direction. So do negative pi over 8. And do the exact same thing just in the negative direction. Or you can continue, keep on um, adding keep on adding pi over 8. So this would be 5 pi over 8. 6 pi over 8. Please, your pardon interruption. Okay. At this time, please dismiss all software okay. to the auditorium. So, and just remember your graph. With them. The Thank you. Graph, hold on, guys, hold on. Just remember your graph infinitely goes to the right and also infinitely goes to the left. Okay?